If you run a WooCommerce store with lots of categories, then you probably want to give your customers a quick way to sort products by those categories. Because you'll know from shopping on other popular non-WordPress e-commerce stores that filtering by category is a standard feature. So how can you add it to your own WooCommerce store? It would be great if filtering by category was an option in WooCommerce, but the reality is that the default product filters are pretty basic and they don't include a category filter. Nowadays, customers come to your store expecting the option to filter by category. So why on earth is this so difficult in WooCommerce? Well, fortunately, this problem does have an easy solution, which is what I want to share with you in today's tutorial. If we haven't met before, I'm Sam for Barn2, and on this channel, I bring you product reviews, plugin tutorials, and other handy WordPress and WooCommerce tips and tricks. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Today, you'll learn how to create a filter with checkboxes, just like the ones you see on popular e-commerce websites. And if you want even more flexibility, I'll show you how to create other types of category filters, such as clickable images, radio buttons, drop-down lists, and text labels. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. The solution I'll show you today uses the versatile WooCommerce Product Filters plugin from Barn2. Now, this is by no means the only filter plugin available for WooCommerce. Believe me, I know because I made an entire top 10 list for filter plugins, which you can check out here if you're interested. But in short, Barn2's product filter plugin gives store owners the most amount of flexibility and display options, which is why I'm happy recommending it for your store. Now, of course, I could go on and on about different features of this plugin, but I'd rather just get into the tutorial that you're here for today. You're more than welcome to read all about this plugin on our blog, which I have conveniently linked below. Now, let's get on with setting up category filters on our site. Click the first link in the description of this video to pick up a copy of the plugin that you need for this tutorial, which as always is covered by our 30 day money back guarantee. Then download the zip file from your purchase confirmation. This is also where you'll find your license key. Next, log into your WordPress site and navigate to plugins, add new. Then we'll click the upload plugin button, choose the zip file or drag and drop it here. Click open and finally click install. Then click activate plugin. The setup wizard should launch automatically, but if not, you can always launch it from the plugin settings page here. First, you'll be prompted to enter your license key. Once you've done this, click activate and click next. Now you can choose a filter group to appear at the top of your store. This is optional, but for the purposes of this tutorial, let's choose product filters. Now we can toggle the filter visibility. We can choose whether to always display filters or click buttons to reveal filters. For now, I'll leave it always displayed, but you can see how this looks on your own site. If you do choose the second option, you also have the same options available for mobile. You can also allow customers to toggle the filters open or closed. Now we'll choose how the filters will behave. We can apply filters as soon as the customer makes a selection or click a button to apply filters. This first option is faster, but the second option allows customers to choose many filters at once before applying them. You can also choose to display the number of products which exist within each filtered option. I recommend turning this on as well. Once you've finished the setup wizard, you can click manage filters to create the first filter. You can also find this page by going to products and filters on your WordPress dashboard. The product filters group has been added by default. We can edit this here, or we can add a new one ourselves. Within this group of filters, we have categories, attributes, price, and the sort by filters. If you don't see these, we can easily add them just by clicking here, add filter. Then it'll look something like this. We can add a filter name, what it's going to be filtering by. So we have other options, for example, tags, rating, stock status, etc. And the filter type. In this case, we'll choose checkboxes, but we also have options for radio buttons, labels, image boxes, and a range slider. Then save changes down the bottom here. 
And finally, we can now add these filters to any of our shop pages. It's actually very easy to display a group of filters anywhere on your WooCommerce store. You can configure the plugin settings to enable filters on the shop page and archive pages. The filter group you select will appear on the product list pages that WooCommerce creates. By default, the category filter will appear in a horizontal layout above the list of products. Optionally, you can choose to display the filters in a sidebar or on specific pages using shortcodes. Simply go to Appearance, Widgets, add a Product Filters widget to the sidebar, and select the group containing your category filter. Alternatively, the plugin comes with a shortcode, which you can use to display filters anywhere. This is useful if you're listing your products in custom ways. For example, using Gutenberg, Elementor, Divi Builder, or the products shortcode that comes with WooCommerce. Just copy the shortcode from the main list of filter groups in the admin and add it where you want the filters to appear. Check out the plugin documentation in the description below for a list of shortcode options. This method is also useful when you're using WooCommerce product filters with other third-party plugins. For example, it integrates with the WooCommerce product table plugin so that you can create one-page order forms with category filters. Now let's take a look at our new shop page with the filters added. You can see here I have a drop-down filter for my categories, as well as an attributes and price filter, which will help customers to narrow down the products even further. And I can choose to add or remove any filters using these drop-downs and checkboxes. Of course, the layout, look, and display options for these filters is completely customizable in the plugin backend. Here I can clear the filters, and I can choose a new filter. For example, I can toggle the price. See, now that wasn't too hard, was it? I really hope this tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd appreciate you supporting our work by liking this video. Thanks so much. Finally, if you're looking for a way to upgrade your default WooCommerce shop page, then check out this video next. And of course, thanks for watching.